Um, and I'd like to, no further ado, just kind of show you it because uh, it's more fun. So uh, let's look at air grab. Thank you. All right. So we're going to switch to um, the feed. Can... All right. Um, I'm super excited because look at this, Mama. Up. Oh. How about that? So this was that, uh, let's start with an eye popper, huh? This was that um, eyeball that we saw at the beginning, and it's just, it's, it's, there's nothing else to say, but it's photorealistic. The, um, the quality of the hologram you see behind me is actually lower than what you'd expect in the headset. And I invite everyone to try this, because it's just, it's just beautiful. So how about it? You like it? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so air grab, it's real simple. Your hand can occlude the hologram, and the hologram can occlude your hand to give you a depth uh, perception, a depth sensation. And real simple, when you, grab, when you touch the hologram, you make a fist, and these two concentric circles become one. And now it's a glowing uh, uh, dot over there indicating that you can move it around, and that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how the brain wants to do it, and that's how we, we're giving it to the user. But you can do the same thing with two hands by stretching, rotating, and uh, it's just, it's, I get goosebumps. Honestly, guys, I get goosebumps from, from playing with this kind of technology because it's, it's been a dream for a long, long time. So um, that's uh, air grab, all right? Give a hand, round of applause to our team that, that worked really hard for this demo. But the, the bigger, bigger message I came to show off today is the meta workspace. The very first augmented reality operating environment built from the ground up for this medium. And this is the hardest part. Building light field optics is way easier. So I hope that you enjoy this next part. Let's go back. So um, I'm going to air grab the eyeball and place it in this thing. That's, uh, that's our Mac launcher. That's our you know, iOS home screen, basically. It's real simple. Um, and because this is photorealistic, so a couple things you might see here, 2D panels, you could browse the web spatially. There's a spatial web browser that comes with this. There's a Windows uh, desktop uh, duplicator that you can do anything you can do with your Windows uh, machine. Um, you have 3D models for a myriad of purposes, and let's just get started. So um, because of this real uh, uh, crazy resolution, this is, uh, you could actually, read, and, and, and I don't uh, use a monitor anymore. <laughs> For the last month, I've been just using the Meta Workspace. It's fully functional, you know, you could go into an email and check. Um, here's, a, you know, something I might do in my own uh, personal workstation. I'll rotate using AirGrab, and then I'll, um, I'll place it kind of above, above the, uh, oops, above into the side kind of thing. So we can now spatialize our thoughts, which is a, a fun, little, um, fun little thing to try. Um, how about a little bit of distraction? Yeah, well, I get a clap for that. Zuckerberg would be proud. So um, here's, uh, you know, you could go into your photos. Um, you can, it's like a physical thing, so it reacts to your body very viscerally and physically. So sometimes, you know, you hit the side of the panel. But um, let's look at my office. This is the way I actually, uh, I do work these days. See that intense gaze? That's uh, me looking at holograms. That may look like this. So this is kind of the future of, of maybe the PC era, where I could take anything I can do on a PC and put it around me. Um, so what do we think about that first stage? Yeah, cool. But we're all here for the future, for the next step, right? So let's, the next step starts with 3D models. Let's go into that. All right. Um, this model is particularly mind-blowing to me. This is the uh, glass brain by Professor Adam Ghazali. This is uh, a real MRI scan, okay? Um, and when I... Uh, when I spatialize my, my thoughts, my desktop. I like to put this guy kind of above to remind me what it's all about and where this is all going. Cool. 
So, um, <laughs> so here's a, a, a model from our partner, BioDigital. Um, by the way, that first stunning eyeball comes from Intervoke and Sketchfab, our partners with the workspace. Now I'd like to show you a model by, uh, of the body by our friends at BioDigital. Um, you know, this reminds us that action comes from, not, you know, through the nervous system and the vascular system. And so I might have a model like this on a typical day when I'm trying to get inspired. Stick, stick the head inside over there, why not? Okay, cool. I mean, guys, computing has just become as easy as Lego. So it's, it, it's, a, lot, it's a lot of fun. All right, but um, to be honest with you, it's not so much about the 3D models, as cool as they are, or about the panels. It's about something much bigger than that. Um, the, the, the paradigm, I think, will rest on the tools that are built for this operating environment. So I want to share with you some remarkable tools built by our developers. Let's go in. All right, first tool uh, from Brian from Coding Leap. He designed this mind mapping tool. I mean, this is something I've, I've wanted to do for a very, very long time, just mind map in AR. So here's the Meta 2, where, um, where this all culminates. And it's, for me as CEO, kind of a, a trade-off between all of these hardware and software features, right? So being able to spatialize the thoughts is just not something you can do in any other medium. And it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful experience uh, to try. Um, this is our, here's another tool designed by our uh, very own Mike Stein and his team at Meta in a two-day hackathon. They built this. So I could take a picture with... Um, this button on my headset of anything in the workspace. See that? It's a little recursive. It's a little meta. Um, and, you know, this is going to make sure that you're not anxious anymore to erase a whiteboard. I mean, this has profound implications on pretty much ev everything that we do in, in our day-to-day -day work. So, uh, here are some, so here's another tool I really like. This was designed by Tim's team of our neuroscience uh, group, and it shows kind of the success versus failure rate of air grab. And it's showing you that it's about uh, one centimeter uh, or less accuracy, uh, error rate. But, you know, when I'm spatializing this plot and I look around in it, I could notice that there's a little bit more error in Z than I'd want, even though the cluster looks really nice in X and Y. So we can design affordances that make it even better. Um, uh, in depth. So that's kind of uh, the cool thing. I'll work in no play makes a cranky CEO. So let's do some fun stuff. Audience participate. Who wants to come and play? Come, 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 quick. What's your name? What's your name? Valerie. Valerie, put your hand on mine like that. Good. And we're going to go into this. And now you're going to move your hand around. This is the very first holographic instrument in direct manipulation. And you could move your hand around and look at the screen. So, see that? Guys, a round of applause for Valerie. But Valerie, see that? I took a picture of you, and we'll, uh, we'll send it to you later. Thanks so much. You're a rock star. Um, guys, this is going to change the way we, we, play, we play instruments, and, and I'm, I'm just so inspired. Um, all right, very last thing I'm going to show you is um, this guy. So as I reflect back at the memories that came out of um, Meta, here's the, the first group that was in our, um, our three-bedroom house. And, um, you know, it's just been an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, imagine I could just take this out and... Um, what's up? Yeah, sure. Give me a second. There we go. And uh, pull that out of my phone. Right? Maybe I want to take another, um, another photo out here. This is the cathedral, the first 50 employees. Let's see if that'll work. Look at that. <laughs> this is real, guys. This isn't hacked. This is just working. Um, and um, this is very important picture, gang, that I want to uh, add to my workspace. This is um, Sophie, my pup. All right. 
always a, a crowd pleaser, but you can do more cool stuff with this. Here's a sticky uh, note app. I can draw a sticky. I like to be productive with sticky notes. So what if I could just do kind of that? Or this, or this. Or, uh, my friends, this is what got us all started. This is our Kickstarter, and um, it makes me a little emotional. Here it goes. The era of the flat device is now over, so we can let our imaginations run wild and make the software that we always wanted to build. Wait for it. I've been in a Steve Finer endorsement. For well over we made it. Years, and this is the most exciting time to be working in the field. Awesome. Amazing technology is entering the well, guys, world. Right now, there's really been a nothing pretty cool else journey. out there that compares. No one else is great again. Thanks for your time. <laughs>